What is intermittent fasting? Intermittent fasting is nothing but fasting intermittently. <laughs> Basically, it's a pattern of eating where you fast or don't eat anything for a certain period of time and then feast or eat your food only in a specific time window. Just know that IF is not a diet. It's a time-restricted eating pattern. What that means is in IF, no food is forbidden. So unlike keto where you can't eat carbs or vegan where you can't eat animal products, there is no such restriction in IF. The restriction instead is on when you can eat. Now, there are many formats of fasting and feasting periods you can follow. Names you would have heard are 16-8, 5-2, OMAD and so on. These are nothing but fasting and feasting patterns. So in 16-8, you fast for 16 hours and feast or eat your food in the remaining 8. In OMAD or one meal a day, you fast the entire day and then eat one meal. Ketosis. Fasting just like the ketogenic diet can lead to ketosis. What is ketosis? Well, it's the process by which our bodies start using stored fat for energy. You see, food, once it's digested, is stored as glycogen in the body. And this glycogen is the body's first go-to source for daily energy needs. But once the body runs out of stored glycogen, it switches to stored fat as fuel. To do so, it has to produce ketone bodies. Hence, this process is called ketosis. Ketosis is one of the many benefits of IF and that starts only around the 14 to 16 hour mark. So, the longer you fast, the more you enjoy the benefits of ketosis. Another benefit of IF is autophagy, a process by which our body self-cleanses faulty cells and tumours. Now, autophagy is a magical ability our bodies possess, so much so that the guy who discovered it won the Nobel Prize for it. HGH. HGH is human growth hormone. One of the hormones that supports growth functions in the human body. From hair growth to skin repair to muscle growth, HGH spikes or sudden increments are typically small and infrequent. But research suggests fasting triggers larger and more frequent spikes of HGH. IF wouldn't make you lose muscle mass because it literally triggers production of the hormone that regulates muscle growth. If you're just getting started with IF, here's my personal recommendation on how to go about it. The most practical form of IF that I've ever found is 16-8. Just have your first meal at lunch and done. But as a beginner, staying without food till lunch can be very tough. So don't even try it. Start with 12 to 13 hours and work your way up. So say you finish dinner by 8, 8.30 p.m. Sleep at 11, wake up at 7. That's already 10 and a half hours of fasting. Now just push breakfast out to say 9.30 or 10 a.m. And you have yourself a 13 plus hour fast. Stay here for a week and once you feel comfortable, push this up to 14 and then 15. Do this over three to four weeks and voila, you'll be hitting 16 hours.